Hey, this is Jeremy from Nox3 Tutorials. To define props in Nox3, you write them like this. And this is in your script setup line. So I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger. So you write them, that didn't work. So you write them like this. So const props define props, and that's a function. And then this is an object. So menu, this is a menu prop and it's an array which takes a type called nxlink and this is that nxlink this is an ob um a type that uh, we cre created and this is for de defining this menu and then there is shadow which is a type boolean and the default is true so it takes either true or false and if it's not provided then the default is going to be tr true then this is sh shadow on children and then type boolean and, and the default is true so this is how you create define props but what if we wanted to validate the props right so we would write it like this so we have the same menu we have the theme prop and then we add a validator here and this takes a string and so what we're saying is that these primary secondary all through how to here to to none like these are the only values we can accept for this theme prop that's what this means here and the same thing for size oh, for size small medium large and this is how you validate and if this is not provided then the default is medium so then how do we use these props so let's say this is the um, we go back to the nx menu so this is called here in the drop down so it's just like this nx menu and then this menu props menu so this is the value that we're passing to this and that's how you use props and if you want to see where i use this I, actually i'll show you though you don't really need to see this uh so this is the menu this i have this um components so this is the the menu and you can create this menu see here it has a shadow this one has no shadow and that prop you know this one has also with no shadow no children and no shadow on the children so this is the prop that we were seeing here this um this shadow prop and the shadow on children and that is how you use define props in nux 3 and if you want to learn how to write authenticated applications in Nux3, then hey, just click the link below because I'm going I have a tutorial where I teach developers how to create an authenticated Nux3 app from scratch, right? So you'd be able to have like login and register. You'd be able to register. I've already registered um, Jeremy at example here. And you can log in like that and boom, there you are get your settings and then you can log out so hey you know what tell me what 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 is the most frustrating thing that you have with nox 3 just comment below this video and also if you want to get this authenticated uh learn how to write authenticated nox 3 applications just click the link in the description of this video all right see you soon shalom